the only flight going, the flight that he was in, went to Washington and landed. He must have wanted to go to uh, be with a, you know, devotees or whatever he had to do at what level, I don't know. But tell me, no flights going to New York, no flights going to Washington, the only flight, his flight. Too incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you were part of the. Uh, uh, you you were there when the mediation was happening with the gorillas in Park, Colombia. Gorillas Park in Colombia. Yes, yes. He had told us in Canada a year be a year before. He says, "You all guys go to Cuba and talk to the gorilla." Imagine if I tell you now, Dick, Dick Vijay, you now go to Africa and talk to the gorilla in Africa. This, how can you do? I mean, you don't know what, where to start from, what to do. So then there was a, another teacher and I, I said to the teacher, I think it's better you go because you're a man, a young man, and this is talking about the gorilla. So this other guy went, he told us where to meet these guys, who to write to, how to contact them, blah, blah. You. So he um, talked to, uh, to the men, and six, seven months later, we went with Banu Didi, uh, three of us teachers, with Gurudev to Cuba. And uh, the meetings took place in one hotel, in one room. The men came with plenty of bodyguards who stood all outside. They never sat uh, looking, uh, you know, giving back to the windows or to the doors, always facing the doors and the windows to prevent an ambush because they didn't know who is he, what does he want. So this is the beginning and very suspicious and what is this? As time went by, three, four, five, six days of conversations, morning to evening, Gurudev would be listening to them. And the only thing that I can say that he said made an impact to me, I don't know if it made an impact to the, to the guerrilla leaders, uh, he said, for 20, 30 years, you've been applying the Italian law, which is an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. You've been applying the eye for an eye law. And so far, you only have as results a country of blind. So many people have died. So many people from your side, so many beautiful people, and from the other side. These are men that have 250,000 death to their account. That men that have no, ruthless men that have no, you know, fear of putting down an airplane because there was a politician there to be killed. And at the end of the meetings, before we departed, everybody like children giggling like we do and playing, wanting to take photos. And the number one came and said to Gurudev, Sir, can I touch your hand? He said, because when I was a child and I used to be taken to school in Colombia, the saints were made of stone. And I have the feeling that I am now in front of a living saint. Can I touch your hand, hold your hand? Gurudev gave him his hand. Imagine this man in, living in ambush in the bush for 25 years, head of the guerrilla five days with Gurudev and says, I have the feeling I'm in front of a living saint. So it is not us who have gone crazy, devotees. It is the men in prison, it is the political leaders, it is the scientists, and it is the guerrilla fighters. It is beautiful to see the presence of the master, what transformation can make in people. You also got a chance to drive Gurudev no? once. <laughs> I've driven him many times, but that time was crazy. And you know, he made planes wait. He made trains wait also. I drove him around Seville with two other swamis. Swamis with a r orange dress, mm -hmm. not uh, our white dress swamis. Mm -hmm. And uh, to show a little bit of Seville here, there, over there. I didn't realize the car was rented. I was so nervous when you sit next to Gurudev. You don't hear, you don't see, you don't know the red light is on, the green light. I, you know, got lost. Monuments, I missed anything. 
uh, especially my rented car was very small. So, you know, sitting next to him. And then I realized this is a rented car. I dropped them at the train and I also have to take the same train and I have to give the vehicle back. Imagine you have to go back to Avis and give the vehicle back, a paper sign, pay everything. And he said, okay, you go. And, you know, they went to the train. I went quickly, did fly, everything, gave the car back. And when, when I reached in, in Europe, trains are never late, never. Trains live on the dot. If it is 10 o'clock, it is 10 o'clock on the dot. That train left 15 minutes late. I know it waited for me because I had to be on that train too. So he made the train wait so that I could not be stranded in Seville in the south. Uh -huh. There is, a, is there a story around uh, Spain where, uh, you know, he came to your house and the water, there was no water left for him? And this is back in Argentina, back in Argentina, okay. uh, when he first came, the first two or three times he stayed at my home. And every time he stayed, then everybody requested to stay. So uh, 30, 40, 50 people slept in the garage like this. And then every bedroom had six, seven people, not only on the floor, but everywhere. So in the morning, they got up and they used all the hot water from the tanks. Gurudev gets up and he calls me and says, how does the water tap work? I said, you like this and you leave it run for a while because, you know, the distance is far. So until the hot water comes and he says, but it's been running already for 10 minutes. Oh, I realize this is no hot water left, only cold. So Gurudev very gently said, oh, never mind, bring me a bucket and I'll wash with the bucket. Imagine finding a bucket. All the buckets were dirty, filthy from the floor, from the scratches and everything. So I said to the now teachers and, you know, the boys then and the girls, go rush and get, get a bucket of water, a fresh, go and buy one into the store. Imagine, poor Guru Dev, he had to go to the Senate to meet and there's no water. So finally the new bucket comes and I give the bucket empty and he said, what is the hot water? He says, oh, sorry, there is no hot water. He said, never mind. So he went and took the cold shower. That was, uh, you know, the time that we had to change the, water, the curtain, that we had painted the room and there was stinking and there was no water and he had to shower with cold water. He is so uh, childlike. He said, okay, I'll take the shower anyway with the cold water. No problem. He never sees any any issues in anything. And it never makes you feel guilty that, uh, of course I went down and I said to everybody, you don't touch the water in three or four days and the Gurudev leaves you shower on, in the river. <laughs> but don't touch the water. Uh, it was very nice. Having him at home is like both a fiesta and a stress, uh, a big party. But so stressed, you cannot imagine. Yeah. So is there a story around the Argentina event? Everybody in the world knows about Argentina. Any experiences of you working in Argentina? Uh, Argentina has grown at such a speed. Uh, we have, uh, after India, uh, with no Indians in the community, only, you know, Westerners, at uh, such a speed. Uh, that it has made an impact that we can gather 300,000 people to meditate with him and that uh, he does, this, this has reverberated uh, to all over Latin America. So there are many thousands of teachers now in Argentina and all over Latin America. But of course there is less population. In Argentina is 40 million people and in India, it's um, 700 million people, right? How many million? No, 1,500 1, uh, million people. So it's not to be compared. Uh, so it is known because we, there's lots of devotion. There is a, a big impact and that we can gather masses and we can teach many people. 
you sit in the restaurant and after a while you hear people talking about the art of living program and you go to a movie and there'll be, uh, you know, uh, the, the actor is taking the art of living program. They use it everywhere. I mean, every second person is talking about the art of living. I feel very happy for that, but I give the credit only to him. When he first came to Argentina, I was not there. I went to the meeting, but he told me uh, the first time that I uh, organized, he said to me, Beatrice, they will come to the courses like water to the tap. And this oh. happened only one year later. He said they will come to the courses like water to the tap, so you have to be prepared. I taught courses with six, five, six hundred people regularly, and you know my first meditation program, Sahaj Samadhi. I had ninety people, and I took the the training with Guru Dev and Bani Didi in the U.S. And I already had registered ninety people, thinking that I will become a teacher. When I come back, I'll teach them. And there was no manual. So Banu Didi went to Guru Dev and said, oh, Beatrice has already 90 people registered and there is no manual. So Guru Dev said, why don't you give her your manual? So then Banu Didi went to her purse and she gave me her manual. So my meditation manual is Banu Didi. So I'm so proud. Wow. So proud. So proud. Mm. I used to think in the beginning, I want nothing to do with Banu Didi because she's a sister. I, you know, I'm in love with this person, but with sister, the brother, the nephew, nothing. I want nothing. When I met her, so humble, so humble, so sweet, like, like ice cream, you know, so gentle. I thought, oh, and of course, today I know that you cannot be in the same womb of a mother like the master if you're not a very, very beautiful soul. But in the beginning, you know, don't forget, I was an intellectual journalist of politics and economics, running behind Lady D, Lady Diana, Princess of Wales, or George Bush, or Nelson Mandela, and interested in the uh, in the finances of a country. So I had nothing to do with any of this. And today, my life is transformed, and I'm so thankful to the master. Good. Long time ago, this is, I was not even organized, just organizing, but I had not properly met him. I was uh, not even a teacher. It was the second time he came. First time he got me hooked from, from the talk. I, then second time, somebody from India, I don't know who called me and said, what is it we need to make Gurudev's visit very successful? And of course, my ego said, everything is gone. You know, we have a presidential visit. We have this. It will be uh, visiting the university, giving a talk at the ambassador's club and blah, blah, blah. I said, the only thing we have not on is uh, put an ad in the paper, which is, you know, very expensive, probably four or five thousand dollars. But this is what we have not done. Maybe you want to put an ad in the paper, say that uh, welcome Shishi Ravi Shankar on the main newspaper. And he said, yes, very good, but uh, Gurudev is landing in two days. So he said, okay, I can lend you my credit card and then we can do it. So this man, I guess, was flying with Gurudev and told him that we had said that this, 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 this. So in the evening, uh, I had not gone to the hotel. I was already in bed and somebody calls me and says, Gurudev wants to talk to you or gone back home already. And uh, he says, why did we ask for money? And he said, we, he hadn't asked for anything. But the way to make me feel included, you know, not to scold me like this pointing finger, why did you ask for money? He says, why did we ask for money? Making the error, his error, you know, the mistake, making the mistake, his I said, Gurudev, can I tell you, we didn't ask for money. This guy said, what can we do? I said, the only thing we haven't done is put an ad in the paper. And in the end, we couldn't do it because there was no time. And then he said, no problem. He says, but we don't need to ask for anything because everything will happen by itself. You know, if anybody wants to give something, then they will give. No need for us to 
ask. And I was so, you know, I was able to sleep well because he included the error in himself and it completely made it clear to me that he included himself. He didn't say, you made an error, a mistake. He said, why did you make that mistake? And the, I was able to sleep peacefully. And then he says, why don't you come to meditate with me early morning tomorrow in the hotel? And then made me feel very good. And next morning I went to the hotel. And then at noontime, he was cooking in the hotel for us. There was only, you know, five, six, seven people. He was cooking and then he was serving the food to everybody. We would just sit there with a the plate and he would come and serve us and we feel so humble that he's serving and we are being fed like babies, so beautiful. There was Kamaji from um, Middle East, she was there, and there was Kay from Norway uh, and somebody Arosa. else Arosa. in Arosa. This was the example, the living example of that he walks the talk. He, uh, we were there, were given a hotel, given a hotel by some owners that we could do a convention and a meeting. It was off season. So, uh, you know, summer, not a ski time. So we were given this hotel that we could all meet there with Gurudev and have um, the sutras or something. He was talking on the sutras and we were there for maybe five, six hours, about five, six days. And the end, he was going to Germany and everybody ran, you know, picked up the rooms and you know the towels and the linens and everybody ran because there was a cruise that we would take the boat and go with the boat to the other side to germany and then the cars will take us to uh, germany and he was the last to go and then uh, we said where is guruji the cars are ready where is guruji and we went to the kitchen and he was picking boxes and cleaning and telling us, now you guys come and also clean. He was picking up, says, we cannot leave this place the way we're leaving the kitchen. He said, oh, these bananas and these oranges, they will be thrown away. We pick up these bananas and oranges, take them to the ashram or take them to... So in Switzerland, nobody needs food, so you cannot give food to a, There is no poor. Bring them to the ashram and clean. And he was cleaning you know, with uh, with uh, cleaning the counters, he says, we leave this place cleaner and give it, teaching us that how can we leave the hotel and leave the place dirty? And I've, I've seen him with a broom, I've seen him cleaning the counter and telling us, you take this box over there, take this over there. Uh, you know, amazing how he could just come down all the way to the cleaning stuff in the kitchen with us. And he has, he doesn't lose any of his uh, dignity by showing us with the example. And me, I can tell, I have seen him cleaning, cleaning the kitchen and we left the, after he started cleaning, we scrubbed, we scrubbed the floors and it, we left that kitchen like a operating theater, so clean. But if he was the first one, he went around every corner making sure that we give back this hotel cleaner that when he got it and he was the first one to clean. The, the World Culture Festival that probably has been covered by many of the Indian participants. He, he said to me, you stay Beatrice and in India. I was part of the organization team and uh, in the night he would be walking the aisles with us, walking the corridors of the ashram. And I, we said, Gurudev, 800 Russians are coming tomorrow and we have no more beds. Everything has been taken. And he would look to the hills and he said, no, there is one more bed in that house. One more bed. And we went and there was an empty bed that we'd not given. So he knew even the count of the beds. He knew exactly where everybody was going to be. He was under the control of everything. In, in that festival, but the, uh, showing his coolness, you know, uh, and our rajas, when uh, I was at the beginning in Germany uh, meditating, he had not come down yet. I was on the first row. I've always managed to put my body in front 
So we were meditating and all of a sudden I feel this cold, 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 cold. And I thought, oh my goodness, maybe I'm becoming enlightened. This is it was so vivid. It's my soul. I'm feeling something cold, freezing cold. My feet it would come up. And then I opened my eyes and there was a big open uh, hole in the wall and the frozen water from the Alps was coming down into the... It was not my soul. It was frozen water into the building. And I started saying, ah, uh, you know, flood, flood. And the German, shh, shh, because they're meditating and thinking she's, uh, you know, going blue star. So as I started picking up cushions and everything and turmoil starts, me and somebody else rush upstairs to the little kutir on the floor upper floor in Germany. Kuruchi, Kuruchi, the walls are coming down. You know, the meditation hall is flooded and it's pouring rain. <laughs> and he is sitting there like a summer buffalo. And he looks and he says to his aide, go down. We will take care of it. You know, teaching you the lesson. Keep cool. Keep calm. You know, the meditation hall has water up to the waist. But he didn't say, oh, no, he just said to the assistant who was reading emails for him, go down, we will find, we will solve it, like that. And we had gone up the stairs thinking, oh, you know, the whole building is falling. <laughs> never lose your coolness, never lose your temper, never lose your center. So a few questions that I usually ask to all the Yes, all the people we interview on this channel. First, Beatrizma, what is Gurudev for you? Gurudev is my mom, my baby. I feel like feeding him a spoon. He is my master. He's my guide. And he's my partner. He's everything. I'm satisfied fully, like after a nice meal, by having him, whether close to me in the ashram or far away like he's now. Just the thought of him makes me complete satisfaction and gives me, gives me the energy of go for more. And so many teachers are watching, so many volunteers are watching. From your journey on this path, what learnings you would like to share with them? What learning, one learning you would like to share? Time is flying. Do not waste any second of your life without thinking, serving, seeing him. If you serve him and do his duty, he'll do your job. Don't waste time in Oh, my partner, oh, my job, or my money, my children, my business, nothing. Just don't waste any second without thinking of him, serving him, or being with him. Thank you, Beatriz, ma, for gracing this interview with your presence. We had wonderful time with you, listening to your stories. I was feeling soaked in the devotion, and I'm, I'm sure everybody watching this we will be feeling the same. All of you who want to contact Beatrice Ma, you can email her on the address which is scrolling in the strip below or in the scroller below. And uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed this time, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel on YouTube, Sri Sri Guru Gray Stories, you can visit the channel. And uh, there are so many beautiful Guru stories from so many teachers from across the world. Uh, about spending time with Gurudev and about their uh, journey on the path. So you can visit the link given in the banner here. And uh, thank you, Ma. Thank you for your time. Jai Gurudev. Thank you. Oh, Jai Gurudev. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye.